Hello and welcome to another tutorial series in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 with me, Fly Me Simulation. So today we're going to look at a feature on the Phoenix A319 through to the 321, which is not new, but is becoming a lot more popular. So this video is going to be split into several parts just for ease of explanation and also so I can show you different implementations of how this system works. So if you're like me and struggled to get the DCD use or the data link control and display unit, which is shown on the bottom right side of the screen at the moment, uh, working on the Phoenix, then this tutorial is for you. So this video is aimed towards CPDLC users, which is controller pilot data link communication. So IE over VATSIM. It's not available with all VATSIM flights. However, it is available on most. This system is also available to work with Beyond ATC and Say Intentions ATC. However, for this video, we're not going to be covering that. So check some links in the description below um, if that is what you're after. There's plenty of videos out there and hopefully uh, they will be more helpful as I don't run Say Intentions ATC. So guys, what we need to do is basically, first of all, we need to get a Hoppy ACAS or ACARS code. Um, and the way to do that is we need to go onto the Hoppy uh, website and get a Hoppy login code. So let's head over to our internet browser. And what we'll do, just move this across and I'll show you my screen. So what we want to do, just go onto Google and uh, basically want to do, just type in Hoppy ACARS. And it's the first one, hoppy.nl slash ACARS. And then as you can see, this website looks very, very generic and you think, oh, I'm in the right place. Well, you certainly are in the right place. As see, there's over nearly 30,000 active accounts at the moment. And basically what this uh, software does is this is what provides the link between your simulator and the VATSIM ATC. So what you want to do is you want to see where it says get logon code. And basically what you need to do is you need to put in your full name, your email address, and it says anti-riddle abuse. So basically you need to type dog in there. That's what you need to do. Click I'll behave and register. And then what you want to do is check over your emails and then you'll be sent a really funky code in your emails uh, over there within 30 seconds or so. And that will go from there. So next thing we need to do is we need to go onto the Phoenix installer, what well, the Phoenix A320 app, as you can see here. So we'll open that and we'll wait for that to launch. As you see, it's just logging myself in at the moment. And then we will go from there. Obviously, make sure you're running the latest version. And as you see in this top left hand side, you've got a card service and you've got a few options here. You've got say intentions, beyond ATC and Hoppy. Um, so we obviously want to Hoppy a card service. And then where it says Hoppy ACAS code, we need to insert the code that you've got in your email into there and then click apply. That will give you a nice tick there. And that is all you need to do. So that is the main first step that you need to do. Next thing we need to do is launch into the sim. So if we launch into the sim, I will briefly show you um, what it looks like. Uh, we won't show any integration at the moment, but we'll just show you and demonstrate that it works. So there guys, we're now spawned into the sim, so what we need to do is head up into the cockpit, obviously we're on the new updated version of the Phoenix, and we've got GSX uh, giving us some stairs as well, so what we need to do is open the, plug the door, get ourselves in the aircraft, so let's jump into the cockpit, we've got a mate in here now as well, I'm not sure where he's come from, but, um, so let's uh, pop some power into the aircraft, so we'll just power the aircraft up as it should do. Let's wait for the systems to do their thing. So as you can see at the minute, the DCD is not really doing anything at the moment. It's doing its self-test. <clears throat> okay, so what we need to do, just to make sure everything's working properly, um, so we can... Um, so if we go into the settings here, I've got all our sim brief stuff. There's nothing that you need to do in the settings on the actual Phoenix itself. Obviously, you need to make sure you've got the DCDU enabled. So if you've not got it enabled, um, you need to head to LR modif modifiable information and ignore me. You don't want to head to that at all. You want to head to airframe and then DCD, you make sure that is selected and then it will be here on the screen. So you can see it's just a black screen at the moment, nothing's really happening. So what you want to do is to head into ATC communications and this will now provide you a new link. So you won't see this page realistically unless um, everything is working. So one thing you can do is we can you can look at the connection status as well. Obviously, it's going to say there's nothing connected at the moment. The reason for that is because 
there isn't anything connected so that's, that's the real reason and it also says that um, ASC ATC is available um, on here so let's for example just try and get something done so we can do a request just to make sure things are working it won't let you do this unless you're connected properly so let's just say we we're requesting flight level 6360 we'll transfer that to the TCDU and that's when the DCD then becomes alive and ready. Obviously we're not currently connected to a network um, we'll go through that in the next video of how you connect to the network um, it's a little bit more complicated uh, but not horrifically complicated um, and then we'll show you how it operates during flights. Just note though that every con not every controller has the access to uh, CPDLC um, you can often ask the controllers and they will activate it. Most controllers now do have it, especially area controllers particularly use it and that becomes more helpful for area controllers to use um, so I hope this video helps you out a little bit in this first part what we'll do is we will head over to part two uh, coming soon and then um, we will explain things a little bit further in flight of how we get it all connected and ready so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you again in another video bye for now